something about caves interested in is the development of the modern mind, of the evolution of creativity, of imagination, of abstract thought, about what it means to be human. While all species communicate in one way or another, only we humans have really taken it to another level. Our desire and ability to share and collaborate has been a huge part of our success story. Our modern world is based on a global network of information exchange, made possible in large part by our ability to communicate, in particular using graphic or written forms of communication. What I want to talk to you about today is the invention of graphic communication. There are three main types of communication, spoken, gestural, so things like sign language, and graphic communication. Spoken and gestural are by their very nature ephemeral. It requires close contact for a message to be sent and received. And after the moment of transmission, it's gone forever. Graphic communication, on the other hand, decouples that relationship. And with its invention, it became possible for the first time for a message to be transmitted and preserved beyond a single moment and place in time. In the course of two years, my faithful husband Dylan and I each spent over 300 hours underground hiking, crawling, and wriggling around 52 sites in France, Spain, Portugal, and Sicily. And it was totally worth it. We found new, undocumented geometric signs at 75% of the sites we visited. This is the level of accuracy I knew I was going to need if I wanted to start answering those larger questions. So, let's get to those answers. Barring a handful of outliers, there are only 32 geometric signs. Only 32 signs across a 30,000 year time span and the entire continent of Europe. On a side note, there is a surprising degree of similarity in the earliest rock art found all the way from France and Spain to Indonesia and Australia. With many of the same signs appearing in such far flung places, especially in that 30,000 to 40,000 year range, it's starting to seem increasingly likely that this invention actually traces back to a common point of origin in Africa. 